Okay, so let's do another VSCPR example. This one, it's going to be chlorine pentafluoride, and we are going to determine the molecular geometry and the bond angles for this molecule, and also look to see if there are any distortions in those bond angles. Okay, so in order to determine the molecular geometry, the first thing we need to do is draw the Lewis structure, and if you remember the way that we start, with that is to determine the number of valence electrons. Okay, so chlorine has seven valence electrons, and fluoride, fluorine, I should say, has seven as well, and there are five fluorines, and the molecule does not have a charge, so we add those guys together and we get 42 valence electrons. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw the Lewis structure for chlorine pentafluoride. So I'm going to put chlorine as the central atom, and I'm going to distribute these fluorines around it. Okay, and um, now how many valence electrons have we used so far just bonding the framework together? So we have 42 to work with, and we've used 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 of them in those single bonds. So let's distribute the rest of them to all the outer fluorines first. Okay, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. Okay, now all the fluorines have octets, and we have only used 40 electrons. So again, this just brings to light that if we hadn't counted the valence electrons, we might have thought that we were finished here and thought the steric number for chlorine was 5 and named it a trigonal bipyramidal, but we would have been wrong, okay? So we still have two valence electrons left. The only place to put them is on the central atom. And so that's what we're going to do. So now, what is the steric number for chloride, chloride, excuse me, chlorine pentafluoride? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So that gives us an octahedral basic geometry. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this guy showing the molecular geometry. And remember, I don't have to put the electrons on these outer atoms anymore when I draw the geometry. And also remember these hashed lines that I'm drawing. They go behind the screen. Okay, they point behind the screen. And these bold wedges, these are pointing out of the screen. Okay. And then I'm going to put that lone pair at the bottom here. And so basically, we have a square-shaped pyramid, right? So we would call this square pyramidal. Okay, so it's a square pyramidal geometry. And the last thing we want to do is take a look at these bond angles. Okay, so remember in an octahedral basic geometry, all of the basic angles, the undistorted angles are 90 degrees. But we have a lone pair here, and that lone pair has sharp elbows, and so all of these bond angles are going to be less than 90 degrees. So they're distorted off of 90 degrees, they're all a little bit smaller than that. Okay. So less than 90 degree bond angles.